They're lining up to register as displaced as a result of the fighting in South Waziristan. There may be hundreds here, but up to this point, some 150,000 have left their homes in the region, anticipating the offensive that the Army says finally got underway Saturday. These people had their IDs checked as they entered the processing area. Officials anticipate up to 200,000 more could flee in the coming weeks. On Monday, the Army spokesman said forces were moving deeper into Pakistan's main Taliban and al-Qaeda stronghold from three directions. The people registering as displaced were searched. Their photos were taken, and they were fingerprinted as well. Most are expected to stay with relatives, but by going through the registration process, they'd be entitled to food and other assistance. Accounts from residents and those fleeing suggest militant resistance in South Waziristan is far tougher than it was in the Swat Valley, another northwest region where insurgents were overpowered earlier this year. The U.S. has rushed to send equipment to help the Pakistan army in its offensive. On Monday, U.S. Central Command Chief David Petraeus met Pakistan's Prime Minister and Army Chief. So did U.S. Senator John Kerry. He was trying to ease tensions over an American aid bill that has caused a rift between Pakistan's army and its civilian government. There was tight security and evidence around the Pakistani capital now that the offensive's finally underway and following weeks of deadly militant attacks around the country. Police say they've arrested a man identified as the head of the Taliban in the southern city of Karachi in connection with a foiled attempt to attack an oil terminal last month. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.